When you eat a meal, your intestines secrete a hormone called PYY, which makes you feel full. But in obesity or if you eat wrong foods, PYY does not work as efficiently keeping you or making you obese. PYY is the short form for a hormone called peptide tyrosine tyrosine. So let's stick with PYY in this video. It is secreted 15 minutes after you eat any meal and its levels stay high for a few hours post which they come down and your hunger starts increasing again. In this video, I'll tell you the role of PYY in weight loss and the factors that affect it. In the end, I'll give you some dietary ideas on how you can increase your PYY to control your hunger. Finally, there'll be an interesting bonus tip that you need to watch when shopping for food. PYY is one of the many satiety hormones released by your body, but its main role is slightly different from others. It slows down food movement in the intestines, helping better absorption of water and electrolytes. This also helps in a feeling of fullness for a longer time and reduction of appetite. In obese people though, after a meal, the intestines secrete less PYY than in non-obese people. So obese people don't get a feeling of fullness and end up eating more. So what can you do to control PYY? Consumption of protein is known to boost PYY levels. So a high protein diet keeps you full for a longer time and also helps in weight loss. Dietary fibers, especially water soluble ones, increase PYY levels significantly. Two main beneficial dietary fibers are inulin and digestion resistant maltodextrin. Inulin is a prebiotic that is soluble fiber that occurs naturally in onions, wheat, garlic, chicory, oats, leeks, asparagus and soybeans. Resistant maltodextrin is an artificially made product from corn, wheat, rice or potatoes. It is used as a thickening agent and is a part of many of your processed foods, beverages, cereals, baked goods, jams and jellies, sauces, dairy products and even frozen foods. Now here's your bonus tip. We spoke of digestion resistance maltodextrin, right? It is different from plain maltodextrin, which is a normal carbohydrate digestible by the body and so it's not a fiber. In fact, the normal maltodextrin is so easily digestible that it gives the energy really fast and as a result is used in sports drinks as a sort of quick release sugar. Maltodextrin is not good for weight loss. On the other hand, Digestion resistant maltodextrin is great for weight loss. Your body cannot digest it at all. So you get no calories, but it helps trigger various satiety hormones, keeping you full longer. So when in doubt, check the product level to know if the food contains maltodextrin or resistant maltodextrin. Besides PYY, there are many hormones that play a role in your weight management. Here is a video playlist that explains the roles of these hormones and how you can conquer them. And here is another 40 minute long video that talks about 39 other weight loss concepts besides controlling the hunger hormones. Give a like to this video and subscribe to this channel. Remember, ignorance is a bad idea when it comes to weight loss. Thank you.